Roll up, roll up, it's time again for our dealers to put on another show. First up, it's over to Ian, who, surprisingly, has taken a liking to his item. Piano accordion. How did you acquire this? Well, uh, auction a couple of years ago. You Mom. bought it in auction? My mum bought it, actually. Your mum bought yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's Italian, as we can see by the name Giraldo. It's marked Italia, so it must be made there. And I imagine it's sort of 1920s, 1930s. Oh, that, that, that I would think, it? around that period, maybe slightly later. You won't believe it. As a, as a young child, yeah. I, I probably was about seven. My father was in the Indian Army, and we were based in a little town, and one of the people who worked in his battalion, his wife used to play one of these. Okay. And I used to go to their house to be taught how to play this thing. Oh, what? And I never learned. I used to go there and just play with that thing, and she used to scream at me like okay. mad. Why this is coming to my life again, I don't know. Because <laughs> I've never played. But there you go. I think it's quite saleable. Am I going to buy this or does it go to auction? Is what we have to decide. Yeah. Whether you accept my offer or not. Okay. God, I don't know. I'm a jeweler. <laughs> so, 50. One hand. Okay. What did your mother pay for it? <laughs> 150. Am I going stupid? 200. Is it worth 200? I ask myself. I don't think so. It's going to be done. Yes, I'll, I'll take it. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. <laughs> I've been a little bit puzzled here because I was walking around the room and then I came across here just there, just as the hand was being shaken. Now, the estimate Quick from the, the independence was 40 to 60 pounds. I think Ian thinks that the diamantes at the front <laughs> may well be diamonds, but I, they're not diamonds, Ian. They're just no, diamante I decoration. But I just think it's such a fun piece. Yes. Well, I'm yeah. sure you can have a lot of fun with that, and you have got yourself a cracking price. Yeah. It's not diamonds, Ian, you know. <laughs> I just love it. He's happy with my offer. You're happy with happy, my offer. Yes. So great. We all have Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Hello, I'm Shirley. And? Leah. Leah. And what do we have here? Okay. Silver cigarette cards. We do, yes. It was originally my dad's. Yep. It's to commemorate the 100 years of FA Cup. And it's got obviously a selection of football players that played in played. various matches yeah. over a period of time. Yeah. And do you know how many of these were made? Um, 2,500. And why are you selling them? Um, well, none of us are into football. None of them are into football. No. Yes. No. <laughs> well, for me to put a price on it is rather difficult because I'm not into the football world and I would be gauging my pricing of it from just what I can possibly sell it for. I mean, it's got a nice case, you know, nice presentation thing, and hopefully, Fingers crossed, one can sell it. But I imagine it is quite saleable. Yeah. We have to think of a price. Okay. I have to think of a price. You already have the price in your mind. I'm going to make you just one offer because I have a figure in mind as to what I want to pay for it. I've looked at it, I've looked at the presentation of it, the weight of the silver, etc. And um, to me, it's worth 50. 60, 70, 75 pounds. That's what it's worth to me, you know, because I don't understand yeah. it. If it were an auction or something like that, then naturally people watching it would appreciate, who appreciate it would probably pay, I don't know, a couple of hundred pounds or something like that. I have no idea. Yeah. Okay. I'm a miles away. I'd like to see a bit more. Yes. <laughs> so I'm miles away. Yeah. I imagine I am because I don't understand. You know, and I think if it did go to auction, it would find its own level. It would have a bigger audience viewing it, and it would make whatever. If people are interested. Yeah. In football. If they're interested, as you say, they're, they're interested in football. You don't know. It might make even more than its actual mm. market value is. You know, you don't okay. know. 
we'd be happy to take it to auction. You'd be happy to take it yeah. to auction. Have you been to auction before? No. So it's your first experience to auction. <laughs> Maybe that'd be fun. Good luck in Thank auction. you very much. Thank okay. you. Thank, Thank you for you bringing it to Lam. Thank, Thank you for coming and supporting your mum over here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ian kicked those into touch. The girls head to their very first auction. But will they regret their decision? Sold then at 25. On the deal's day, you brought along a set of 12 solid silver cigarette cards. First of all, where did you get them from? Um, they were originally my dad's. He actually collected them because he collected cigarette cards and it was the, obviously the football link as well. OK. Let's see what it does under the gavel. The reserve is 100. 100 to 120 is the estimation. Let's see what it brings. Coming up now. I'm in at 100, 110, 120. 120, I'm good at 120. That's good, 120. 120, I'm at 120, book bid at 120. If you have telephone. No, telephone is out. 120 with me at 120, sold 120. The gamble has gone down at 120 pounds. We do have some permission to take away. 100 pounds or 102 pounds you're going home with. It was not a lot of money for that collection, but sadly, these limited editions do not stack up at the end of the day. That was the real deal. We head back to the dealer's den, where Linda has sat down to do business with our Ian. Sugar caster. Yes. Does it belong to you? It does, yes. And why are you selling it? I'm trying to raise um, some funding to help pay for my daughter to go to Amsterdam for the new year. To Amsterdam? Yes. The wicked city of Amsterdam. Is it really? Oh, it's a wonderful city. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's an absolute must. Love it. Well, it's very lovely. It looks as though it is in perfect order. What is important that these scalloped edges are not chipped or right, cracked or yeah. pieces missing from it, and it seems all there. Um, the silver looks in pretty good condition. You didn't clean it, did you? No, I've never cleaned it. Never cleaned no, it? No, never. How long have you had it? Quite a while. Quite a while. It looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it all, it all adds to the authenticity, you see? Yes, it does. It adds to the age. It makes it look more Victorian than ever. Yes, that's yeah. right. A few cobwebs here and yeah. there. It's just... Well, it's made in London in right. 1888. Okay, the hallmark is very clear, very clean hallmarks, very easy to identify it. Right. It's a piece that is in good condition and it can be used. I've never used it. If I had it, I'd use it every, almost every day. Oh, All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Well, I don't, I don't entertain any lavish entertainment. I so. don't. All oh, right. All well, right. Honest. Honest. Yeah. <laughs> All right then. So, money wise. Right, money wise. Money wise. Fifty. Right. <laughs> Sixty, seventy. Right. Eighteen, ninety. Right. What about two hundred? Two hundred. I can't do two. Well, she wants to come back, you see. Yes, yeah, she can come both ways. It's first class, club class. First club class. Yeah. She's not cheap to keep, is she? Well, the thing is, Ian... Even I don't travel club. You've got to strive towards standards, you see. Oh, yeah, I know. You have to have standards. You know, you've got to have certain standards in life that you, you don't fall below, and mm -hmm. we're aiming for club class. So I'd like a little bit more than You'd that. like a little... <laughs> right, OK. Well, we've got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And you'd like a little bit more. A little bit, yeah. I'm going crazy. Well, that's another 20. That's 110. What would you like to do? I think I'd like to accept you. You're going to accept it? I will, yeah. Wow. Because you're okay. so charming. Is, is, that well. the, is that the only reason? Oh, yes, okay. definitely. Not a fair it's price. It's worth another 100 pounds, <laughs> <laughs> It's worth another 100 Definitely, yeah. So we have a deal we at do. 110. We Shall do. we shake on it? Thank, Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank very you so much. much. Thank you. And you are? Trudy. Trudy. Very nice aquamarine ring with little diamonds on the shoulders. It belongs to you? Uh, it was my great uncle's wife's. Great uncle's wife's? Yes. Hmm? Hmm. Why are you selling it? Not my cup of tea. Not your cup of tea? No. Just as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think it's a very nice ring. You know, it's a very 
showy dress ring, you know, easy to wear. It's not too over the top with diamonds. You know, Aqua says Aqua, I'm an Aqua. Um, and, the, and the diamonds aren't bad at all. It had good taste. It isn't marked in any way, but I would assume that it is 18 karat gold. Do you have any idea of its value? A little. <laughs> a little? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not worth a lot of money, to tell you honestly. And I'm going to try and get this as cheaply as possible. No. 50. 100. 150. 200. 250. 300. 350. 400. 450. <laughs> 450 pounds. Mm, very nice. <laughs> Squeeze you a little more? I don't think so. And you'll definitely not go any further. I don't think so. How much were you expecting? Um. 300. I'm, I'm quite happy. You're quite with what happy you've with laid that. down so far. Right? I should hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm being over generous. Yeah. Are you happy with 450? Well, if I definitely can't squeeze any more from you. Definitely can't squeeze it. Then, yes, I'm very happy. Then you're very happy. very happy. Okay. So we're going to shake on it, but can you tell me what was your estimated, ex what were you expecting? I was hoping to hit four. At four? Yeah. So I paid you 50 pounds too much. <laughs> <laughs> so 450 yeah, you're happy yeah, with. Yeah, so yeah, we yeah. can shake on that and yes. call it a day. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I'm going to enjoy wearing it. You're going to wear it? <laughs> Okay. For a while. Yeah.